Hello, welcome to Literary Life. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my reading plan for this upcoming week, which involves sisters and exploring how the various ways sisters, uh, the relationships can play out. And we are going to go through curses to fighting to the death to just a normal growing apart, leading very different lives, but having a life event bring you together. So let's talk about this. As always, I will have links below if you're interested in purchasing any of these books. So the first one I'm going to be reading is a fantasy novel that came out in 2016, and that is Three Dark Crowns by Kendra Blake. So now this is part of like a five or six book set. Um, so if you do enjoy the first book, and if I do enjoy the first book, we know that there are plenty more for us to continue in. Um, experiencing this world. So essentially in this book are three sisters, we have three, three dark crowns, three sisters born into a world in which one of them, only one, can be queened um, the queen crown or whatever, can be crowned the queen, one of those things. And to figure out which one of the three it is, they have to fight to the death. And this is apparently a normal event. I, I cannot imagine um, how I'm just so curious like how do you I mean do you even play together as kids or do you just right out the gate you're raised knowing that you and your sisters have to literally kill each other to fight for this crown so now is not the time to break out the Barbie sets like I, I don't know I, I'm so curious about this book um, each of the sisters has a different strength one is like a poisoner and can ingest poisons like they each have something else that they that that makes them who they are um so i'm kind of curious about how this one's gonna go we'll see <laughs> so first set of sisters literally trying to kill each other now we're, then we're going to get into a book that just came out in 2020 this one's more of a literary fiction and now we're just going to focus on cursing we're just going to curse our sister in this one <laughs> and that's the star cross sisters of tuscany so the way this situation goes back in the day one of the women cursed her sister and the curse means that every second born sister in their family on down the road will never find love and lo and behold what has happened but every second born sister in this family has not found love and some of them fully believe it is due to the curse while other sisters second born sisters in the family think it's just coincidence um, but what's really interesting is that they're all going to get, so like we're a generation or two down and they're going to get a call from their 80 some year old great aunt who says she is going to break the curse, but to do so, she needs all of them to come with her to Italy, back home to Italy, and she's going to have to be on the steps of this cathedral at like midnight where her true love is going to arrive and it will break the curse for all of them. And so begins the journey of these extended families coming together to confront maybe and face um, the impact this curse has had on each of their respective lives and hopefully overcome it and be able to find love. So definitely a little more lighthearted than the first book I would anticipate. So then finally, we're going to go into more of a um, just a dynamic, a natural life state where sisters grow and evolve. And that is a book that came out in 2019 called The Unlikely Adventures of the Shergal Sisters. So these are British born. Again, I think we have three sisters, each lead very, very different lives. Like one's a principal, one is an actress, and the other one is married. I'm not sure if she has a career, but she's been, she's married into this very wealthy family. And each of them are coping with stressors related to their unique lives. And it doesn't sound like they've really shared them with each other. They don't have a very close relationship. Their mother is on her deathbed and she has one dying wish. And that is that they will pil take a pilgrimage back to India um, and go and like do some ceremony thing at this chapel. And the sisters, like one of them, had vowed never to return to it, India. So it's a big deal. But they all decide to be dutiful daughters and to fulfill their mother's dying wish. And so begins a journey that I think both lends to an exploration of their relationships with each other as sisters, as well as their individual 
um, lives being explored and better understood, hopefully. Um, so I cannot wait because this, I think, is going to be a really fun week. <laughs> I mean, we have sisters killing each other, sisters cursing each other, and sisters just facing parts of the world um, out of a duty obligation. I guess they're all kind of focused on some form of duty, but it's so, yeah, it's just going to be a fun way to look at the various way, uh, dynamics that a sister relationship can pull in. Um, hopefully for most of us, it does not involve killing each other, right? That, that's a little extreme. But anyway, <laughs> That's why it's a fantasy genre, I hope. Um, so as always, if you have read any of these books without spoilers, would love to hear what you think. And if you plan on reading along, um, let me know. I will be so curious to hear what the, those of you reading the book are also thinking while I you know, am reading them as well. Um, but other than that, let's go do it. Let's go read some books. Happy reading. <laughs>